Hi, this is Patrick Clark. I'm at a campsite and I'm camping tonight here in my tarp. And my friends, um, when I take my friends camping, they always say how I make everything look so easy. And I have been camping many, many years, and I have found a lot of techniques, little ways to do it that really, really make a difference in the enjoyment of sleeping outdoors. And I'm going to show you what some of those are. Um, the first one I want to talk about is the importance of ventilation, well, good ventilation and um, natural fibers. And so um, there's this cool tarp system here that it's called the, basically, the Ray Way tarp. And so the Ray Way tarp, it's just a simple tarp that's supported by two poles and um, you'd actually don't carry you don't need to actually bring your own poles because all it requires is a simple stick that you can find anywhere um, you know anywhere you go camping you're going to be finding sticks even if you're in a desert you can use stalks from plants and um, so uh, the reason why this is so amazing is because um, all this air comes through it and what that does is uh, it makes it so that the moisture in the air it doesn't get trapped inside your tent and the reason that's important is because moisture also uh, creates uh, it makes it more um, cold you feel cold when you're moist or if it's if it's hot you either feel hotter or colder in an uncomfortable way from humidity and so there's humidity from the outside like rain, mist, dew and humidity that's just in the air and then the, your, your body also would create humidity if you were in an enclosed um, space like most tents that you zip up in a piece of plastic and it's an enclosed space and what that does is that actually traps moisture from your body when you breathe and also from your skin you release insensible perspiration and that creates if that gets trapped near your skin that it creates a moist and clammy environment so if you have this tarp here this really amazing rayway tarp i mean it's called a rayway tarp because ray jardine uh invented our, I don't know if he invented it, but I mean, it's kind of basically an old timey tarp from way back. People used to camp in these things, but Ray Jardine discovered the importance of uh, using these at, at, in, in place of tents because um, it's so important to have the airflow through here. Um, yeah, it seems like, yeah, wouldn't it be windy and wouldn't the wind be worse than the humidity? Well, if it if this is this one here is pitched very high for a mild summer uh, camping, you know, because that's what it is right now. But if it was windy, um, I it would be pitched mu uh, much lower. It could be pitched um, even you know 24 inches off the ground if it needed to be, and uh, and then that's what you do if it's windy. And so so the Ray Jardine tarp and then combined with natural fibers that's the trick to 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 the most blissful night of sleep in the outdoors because the reason why natural fibers are important is because the same thing about breathability and ventilation and and that also um influences temperature regulation so you want so the sleeping bag is important because um if it was synthetic fiber, which even if it was down, down inside a synthetic fiber is very uh, not temperature regulating, it traps moisture, it creates a hot and clammy environment, and, um, and then you sweat, and then when you sweat, you, that actually makes you colder. So th this, this setup with, with the 
Ray Jardine tent, tarp, and and the wool, natural fiber wool sleeping bag and clothing uh, is going to give you the most ultimate sleep because the fact is the fact is is that is that the heart rate is influenced by uh, temperature, moisture, and temperature regulation. Everything, heart rate, brain waves, moisture regulation, temperature regulation, all of that, and breathing, the rate of breathing, all of that is is uh, is intricately connected together. So if you create a play, a way that you can regulate your temperature and your moisture. And then your breathing and your brain waves are going to be calm and deep, and you're going to go into deeper states of, into the deep stages of sleep, which you need to have a, a full rejuvenative reju sleep. You need to go into all those deep stages of sleep in the right way. And so that, that's why it's so important to have this set up. You can't just take all this synthetic gear that's toxic, off gassing chemicals blocking your body's ability to breathe and expect to sleep the way that you're designed to sleep like like when you're at home if if you're into natural fibers and you've got you've got it all set up at home and and then you go in nature and you have to bring all this synthetic stuff but not anymore so get your get your organic natural fiber gear from lucky sheep and you'll be all set the next thing I want to talk about is uh, a little bit about sleep ergonomics. Now, sleep ergonomics, I mean, what a weird word. I mean, you think ergonomics is when you're doing things, you know, like you're at work or whatever, in a car, you're moving, you're doing stuff. But sleep is actually an activity. And, um, and I'll just prove it to you because most people who, when you sleep on a mattress, you know, most people sleep on these soft mattresses. Mattresses are basically an institution. And and um, if you sleep on the floor or on a firm surface, a minimalist sleeping environment, you, you notice right away your body. Your body sticks out. That's why most people don't do it. That's why people don't do it because it, they don't know how. It hurts. It hurts your body. You lay down, you have pain, your hip sticks out and everything. And so... The reason why is simply we just have forgotten, we've lost our ability to do natural primal movement. And we're perfectly capable of doing it. It's just we haven't applied it to our everyday sleep environment. And so I'm just going to show you some tips um, on how to do that. The main thing to know about sleeping on a firm surface is this. Um, so when you're, we'll start with side, the side sleeping position. So you, you're laying on your side and, you know, your hip is going to stick in. That's why people don't like to do it. That's why they have mattresses. So, but that's one simple remedy for that. So all you need to do is extend your lower leg straight out and then... Take the upper leg, bend the, at the knee, and put it on top of the lower leg. And and you can uh, do put it in different ways. You can bring it all the way over here. I'll just bring it all the way your knee all the way over to the other side if you. That's the ultimate. And um, so okay, in this in this position, that it it makes the hip, the ball of the hip flat. So you so that doesn't stick out. So it's also very healthy. It it does it sort of gives you a little spinal twist, and it, and it's super relaxing to do this. It's used in res restorative yoga, and it's also used in um, Thai massage. And I didn't know this for so long until I studied Thai massage, and then they 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 practice this when they're doing their massage. So. Um, so th this is a little trick for side sleeping, how you can sleep on a firm surface. And then like when you're, when you're laying on your back, um, okay, so the, the things that stick out like is your lower back, get your note, you notice maybe your lower back is, um, is, uh, is there's a little pain there. So what I do is I, I stick a little sock under there if, if I need to. 
and just about a sock, just something that the size that, that fits in the small of your back is all you need. And then, um, then because on a, when we use a mattress, we're used to our hips sinking in to, to support the lower back. And so since the hips aren't sinking into anything, you, if you just take some little prop, a little, basically a rolled up sock is about ideal. Put it right there in your lower back and that will, that will keep that from collapsing down. And, uh, and then you can, um, and then also it's important to have the right pillow. So the other important things about sleeping outdoors, um, noise. So there can be loud pelting of rain on your tent or wind howling or, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff, you know, waterfall crashing, you know, stuff we're not used to, insects, cicadas. And, um, and that noise, I mean, it's fun to listen to it, you know, but sometimes it can really disrupt sleep. So I rely on earplugs when I need them. And I, I love the soft silicone ones. They cut out a really lot of noise, super easy to use. And so I'd recommend ear, have some earplugs handy. And also then I also, uh, I also like covering my eyes because like, um, you know, I know I love watching the stars and the moon and everything, but when I'm, when I'm actually ready to fall asleep, I'll, I'll put a uh, cover over my eyes, an article of clothing or something will work. And what I really like is a, is a Merino Lucky Sheep bandana or Merino Lucky Sheep um, scarf. And my friends uh, kind of make fun of me because I look like kind of like a mummy. I, I wrap myself up with this scarf around my head. And it's cool because not only it covers my eyes, but it also, you know, keeps my head warm and, and everything. So, you know, I just, they laugh at me because I'm <laughs> wrapping my head up like a mummy, like this. And, uh, oh, it's so soothing, though, because it's like cutting the cutting out everything you know it's like I'm done you know I'm going to bed and and um you know it's like a good way to just cut out our senses so we're so we can relax very soothing and um and uh yeah I just think we're you know we're not if we can find a cave to be in where it's like <laughs> if you could be in a cave and to be all quiet and everything or you know, at home we're in our, we got walls and maybe the house is, is quiet because we've got, you know, protected inside. So this is a way when you're outside, vulnerable, exposed to nature, you can cut off some of your sensory perceptions to kind of like calm down and can kind of get away from it.